So I was having a Twitter conversation with Kerry Millsap, and I mentioned that we needed to upgrade him from Komodo editor. And I said that the biggest, the biggest reason for going with uh, Sublime Text, Atom, and Visual Source Code editors was the multi-cursor edit functionality. And um, so this is going to be a very uh, short video just demoing what multi-cursor edit is and perhaps other features of Sublime Text. Um, the other editor is also supported, but because I focus on Sublime Text, that's that's where I'm going to focus this short video on. So you can get Sublime Text by going to sublimetext.com. And for all those that are Oracle uh, developers, you'll want to see this blog post, Sublime Text for Oracle Developers. Uh, Tim does a fabulous job explaining how to do the initial setup, uh, installing package control, which is uh, what will allow you to install other plugins for Sublime Text, how to set up some other plugins, uh, set your Oracle PL SQL uh, um, language so that it can, you can get better syntax highlighting, uh, some links to tutorials and other things. So you can look through that. And um, a huge thing that's there is how to configure building code, something that I do now in my regular workflow. I code in Sublime Text and I compile my packages right there, right from Sublime Text. So let's get right into it. So imagine I have a, let's do the multi-cursor edit. So imagine I have a table and I'm gonna, I need to create a, some table API type of thing for it. So I'm gonna paste this here and I'm gonna select it. I'm gonna do Command Shift L. And what just happened is that I have multiple cursors. Now every line got a cursor. I'm gonna do a right, sorry, a left arrow. Now all the way in the beginning, I'm gonna do Option Right. Uh, here, sometimes with those commas, it's sometimes a little bit of a problem to do this uh, let's see doo, doo, doo. there so you see how the cursors are now located uh, all in some words so I can do command D that selects all those words the cursors were standing I'm gonna do I'm gonna copy this so command C I'm gonna do a right arrow so that I can be at the end shift command to the right that will select everything to the end and I'm gonna I'm going to delete all of that great and then I could here do my right arrow for parameters. I'm gonna do a P underscore paste and I pasted all of the elements that I had in the cursor. See each line was copying its own word and it pasted its own word. Now I installed the Abacus plugin so I'm going to do shift command P and I start typing abacus and it's abacus align selection and it's already configured to recognize this character. So that al aligns it. And imagine that this were perhaps in out parameters, maybe you're defining those. So then I could just do in uh, to do my parameters and maybe this are the table. So I'm going to do my table time entries dot I go to the end of the line, type. So those are different ways of doing this. Um, maybe we're doing insert into my table. So I'm gonna open and close parameters. I'm gonna paste all my values, which I already had. I do shift command L and I can do my commas and I'm gonna grab those and maybe those are coming, oops, I'm sorry, hitting the wrong keys there. Maybe those are coming from a cursor. So I'm gonna paste them here. Shift Command L and maybe my cursor is T for time entries. So I'm getting my values from there. 
So you can see how it doesn't matter where you're at. You can do the command D to select different things. Maybe you misspelled a word and I select it and I do command D to select all the other validated words. And you can see now how they're being selected in different places. I'm just doing command D. So now that I have all of them selected, maybe I'm gonna rename it to valid and hit escape to stop the cursor. So now I just did the multi-cursor edit on all the different lines. The way I work in Sublime Text is also with projects. So I actually have a whole set of files defined my project and I'll open a, a, a large file. So largest, largest file on Apex export. Uh, Sublime Text is very good with large files. And it's easy to go ahead and select different things. And um, let's say I'm selecting that. I'm going to do Control Command G. And that actually selected, if you see down here, I have 81 selections. That means I have 81 cursors. And maybe I'm going to switch this to FA to X all over the place. Now, of course, I would never edit an Apex export file, but I'm just showing how you can get hundreds of cursors if you wanted to. I hope this helps you. I hope this gives you an idea of how multi cursor select works and how you can do all sorts of interesting things in um, with multi cursor edit.